you know. What Some people are malicious. They will put on like 75M and just leave it and they'll put their own headphones in. They'll be like, good luck. Mm -hmm. Have fun. That has happened before. All right. Or they'll put on environmental noises and try to bore you to death. That's right. Oh, the, with the band songs, right? Yeah, yeah we were just songs. talking about it. Yep. Band songs. Yep. All right, so we've got Laz Cap. Looks like on the Duck Hunt, Shooting Star on the Yoshi. And this is uh, one of those crazy matchups that you don't often get to see, unless you live in Tri-State, I guess. Because this happens right. all the time in Tri-State. Fawn versus Raptor. True. This is this is like Fawn versus Pharaoh at home. Oh, Pharaoh, too, yeah. We've got a very Tri-State coded matchup here. True. All right, so far, a bit of a bloodbath. 30 seconds in and Almost 200 damage collectively between the players. You might think Duck Hunt wants to stay away. And, uh, you know, they do. But that's true. That's that's the price if you don't, I suppose, is getting out normal by some of these characters. Even Yoshi who doesn't fight with a weapon. Right. And, of course, it looked like Last Cap was doing the right things, trying to use the frame one can to create a sort of uh, grenade situation a la Snake uh, to try to make sure that if you go for something big, I can punish you. Didn't really work because they still lost the stock off of it, but it's all good. The air dodge, unfortunately, yeah, there's no way you can back with Yoshi. The resource is just not there, and a buffered air dodge like that is going to be all the more dangerous to uh, let happen. We've got the projectile system set up here. Cam covering high, Clay Pigeon covering low, Duck Hunt to pick up the pieces. And yeah, that's just such good shield pressure, although Yoshi uniquely can't be shield poked. So I feel like that, the charm of that, is a little bit lost in a match like huge. this. And Duck Hunt isn't a character that really has a lot of like shield break setups. So it's not like we're going to see shield pressure <laughs> right, uh, right. at that level. You know what I mean? So Last Cap still going to be looking for some good options here and there. The frame one can this time getting yourself out of the egg leg Ooh. and then finding a can all the way up in the upper end of the skies. That's really nice, but still at a bit of a disadvantage. You're going to have to do something here, but we break out that armor. And I feel like now we're starting to pick apart what the habits of Shooting Star are. They're doing a lot of like double jump armor trying to get out of these combos, but last kept not having it. Yeah, you gotta get through this labyrinth of projectiles, and when you do, the Minotaur that is Duck Hunt is waiting for you. Hold on. A little bit of damage coming toward last cap now. Stuck at the ledge. Can we get a spike maybe? It looks like we're just getting oh. a lot of egg. <laughs> a lot of egg. Oh. Okay, so oh. Last, oh. I should have okay. known that because of the tag Cappy. Oh, I All guess right. so. Okay. okay, so we have so the name the switch. Name switched. Yeah, last cap is Yoshi. Shooting star is Duck Hunt. Got it. Oh, Ooh. that's a shield break. Yeah, shield break on the other side. Didn't expect uh, that, did you? We mentioned it, but uh, there is still a lot of options for Yoshi to do it, even if Duck Hunt can't do it themselves. But getting around that can, getting around the gunman as well, doing the right thing still, waiting for the right options. And of course, the clay pigeon creating more and more horizontal pressure. Unable to do too much of the can. You forgot it was there. How'd you forget? How in God's name are you supposed to get through that? You have the forward smash covering the ledge. By the way, Yoshi, not one of the characters that automatically snaps on his way up. Right. You have the can on top of the ledge, and then you have a platform in the way, right. which if you're doing an aerial, you can't fall through it. Of so course. just such a difficult maze to navigate there for last cap. Shooting star, after taking the first stock loss, is going to take the first game win. Yeah, that's a two-fold strategy that I think works really well for Duck Hunt. Obviously. Yoshi is one of those characters that can be good to edge guard, but if they're really smart about the recovery and really smart about the double jump armor, it gets a lot harder. It's it's mm -hmm. significantly like a, a, a distinct curve in difficulty in order for you to actually secure these stocks. So good stuff uh, because Duck Hunt, Duck Hunt can have like incredible edge guard potential. The projectiles are there, but sometimes it's a lot of moving parts and the micromanagement takes a lot of skill. It does. You have to worry about so many things on set timers and predetermined arcs. And it's right. luck too because you gotta get the right gunman for the pressure situation. They have different timings on their launch for gun. It's it's crazy. Right, you almost have to react to the setup that the game gives you. Yeah. Obviously the idea is very similar. It's like, oh it's gonna be a time delay and it'll go off eventually, but you don't know exactly when and timing that around ledge invincibility or Back. Your opponent's recovery can be quite difficult. Yep, so, it's a diverse uh, flow chart. Yeah, I'm always very impressed by this character. Very annoying to fight, but true. they deserve it. They've true. earned it. True, true. I mean, yeah, you work hard at this game. I mean, you have to work harder than I think like some Pac-Man main have to work because it's like you have harder buttons to, to make work with Duck Hunt. So you have a lot of good options, but some of them, when they're all mixed together in the right situation, they can turn into the perfect storm of taking stocks to getting damage. Right now, we're getting a few juggles, but it looked like they weren't really keen to, to run in that that fervently. They want to kind of like stay back and drag the pace of the, the game down a little bit so they can pick their shots better. 
Right, and we've got a much bigger stage to play with now. I think that might work against Last Cap, even though they were the one who was uh, counterpicking here. Yeah. Right? So, that's true. I don't know. Pokemon Stadium 2, though, obviously a comfort zone for a lot of players. So, sure. it might just feel a okay, even if the odds are stacked against you. Very much so. And we're getting. Catching the high recoveries. Knows that these jumps are coming out, which is really smart from Shooting Star. They're doing the right things at like catching Lazcap, trying to jump in, trying to get one of those like aerials. Obviously, Yoshi is an incredibly aerial heavy character. Um, and I don't even I don't even know like how do you get out of this mix sometimes? But I don't know. It's it's very tough. On both ends, really. Ooh. We took the double jump armor before unable to get the spike. I see the uh, I see the vision. Unable to do too, too much, but that means that Shooting Star losing out on the first stock, Lazcap doing the right things, catching them off guard, and we've got good pressure, but again, like, it feels like there's so many moving parts that like you just don't get them all to work sometimes, and uh, Lazcap finds their way back to center stage. We did see this last game, though. First stock lost by Shooting Star. Maybe just trying to adjust to the offensive flowchart from Lazcap with the new terrain in play. Not sure. I mean, hard to say. I mean, we did say that like it's been a more patient play for both players in this game so far, but trying to find the right angles, using the can against Shooting Star. Lascap's trying to do the right things here, and I love the anti-duck hunt counterplay, uh, but still, falling into the can yourself, it is a double-edged sword, and even if you try to use that tool uh, to the best of your ability, to try to send it back to the original place it came from, I, I don't know. I don't even know. This is tough. Starting to see that lead resurface here, and we talked about it in Corrin versus Terry. When one character has a lead, obviously their job gets a lot easier, but that goes triple when you're a trap and projectile-based character like Duck Hunt. So now we have to see Last Cap just run their head into a wall over and over and over again and hope it starts to crack. All right, gets the uh, the most powerful hitbox of the company. Like, he's trying to get, like, the, the strong guys. We have, like, really good luck with these gunman placements, but it feels like Last Cap's doing the right thing in defending. Can't defend from everything, though. This time we see Shooting Star uh, getting caught off guard. Last Cap going all the way out there. Well, the roll behind, looking for a spot dodge, perhaps. That's usually most players' panic option when you roll behind them. But no, not today. Last Cap keeping their head on straight. Oh, but also jumping straight into that forward smash. Once again, so tough when you don't auto snap the ledge. Duck Hunt can kind of just throw that out and check a sloppy recovery. Yeah, not grabbing ledge is kind of crazy because you want to go above, but you barely avoid the can. There's something else coming. Like, Duck Hunts always have a plan B and sometimes a plan C right afterwards. Yeah, in general, players are in a rush to get to the center of the stage. Hold on, that up air almost did it. Obviously, Yoshi's so tanky that yeah, it wouldn't happen, but a little scary, no, no oh, less. Oh, but we almost get, like, a great tech chase, and this looked like it was going to be Lazcap's time to take the stock, or at least some more damage, but Shooting Star comes from behind, takes the up air. We saw this time it was not going to be tanked, and uh, we're going to take that stock, take that game. Can we get the freeze frame on That's the crazy. kill screen? Because... Good lord, that was nowhere near the duck. <laughs> Nor the dog. The duck's got the dog in it. Was, that, was that the gunman, the, the third character, the shooter, <laughs> who hit that up air? Because oh my I, God. I mean, I don't know. From the top building, it's just like in the in the corner, like there he is. He knew what was up, but like, no, it it felt like the kill screen was a little wonky, but that's the that's the crazy thing with like uh, duck hunt hits and especially the multi hits. Right, because you always know that like Yoshi can be moving very quickly with a great air drift, so moving mid kill screen makes it look like that. Yeah, I think Yoshi probably just pressed the button, put himself in the range of that, but that move does have an absurd disjoint. So sure. we're gonna see Shooting Star use that to their advantage, take a 2-0 win here over Lascaps.